Recharge Wrap Up, Co., NV, and UTA announced SEV Network, Karma to Build in China. Colorado, Nevada, and Utah will create a 2,000 mile of charging network. The governors of the three states announced the program, which will expand charging infrastructure over the next year along Interstates 15, 25, 70, 76, and 80 to connect Denver, Las Vegas, and Salt Lake City, among other cities. Regional collaboration is a key driver to fueling our future transportation options, says Utah Governor Gary R. Herbert. By working together, we can minimize costs, ensure technological consistency, and serve as laboratories of innovation. Read more at Electrek, or in the state of Colorado's press release. Norway's government plans to pass a law allowing the testing of autonomous vehicles on public roads. Expected to pass in 2017, the new rule will be a boon for established automakers that already have a strong presence in the country, like Tesla, but it will also help to give Norwegian companies a competitive edge in the self-driving arena, especially as businesses in the oil-producing nation take a hit from low prices. Norway's Ministry of Transport and Communications says public testing will be rolled out gradually, and will be reserved for more advanced systems. Read more from Automotive News Europe. Carmel Automotive's parent company Wangxiang has approval to build cars in China. While still required as part of the purchase agreement to build a number of vehicles in the US, it appears likely that a large number of Karma Rivero plug-in hybrids will be built overseas. Karma has already begun building small numbers of Riveros in the US by hand, with deliveries beginning in early 2017. In addition to most Riveros, the smaller, cheaper Karma Atlantic will also probably be built in China. Read more at InsideDevs.